Right, so in today's video it's absolutely freezing again, but I'll be warming up soon because I'm going to be taking a, a closer look at that new feature on the Action 6, which is called Subject Tracking. Now if you follow my channel, you know I've done plenty of tracking videos with various cameras, but the main two I focused on back then was the Pocket 3, that's Active Track, it's not called Subject Track, and that does track you well within 5 metres, but if you disappear behind any kind of object there, let's just say a thin tree, where your body's not fully behind the object, it'll lose you and never pick you back up. And if you disappear off frame, you might get lucky that it might pick you back up, but the odds are it won't. Now with the Action 5 Pro, that's when the first subject tracking got released with DJI on the Action 5 Pro. I tested that thoroughly on my channel, go and check that out, and that is absolutely flawless. You can run around, disappear off frame, hide behind objects, reappear, and it picks you back up every single time. So in today's video I'm really going to test out that new improved subject tracking on the Action 6. First of all I'm going to start off in an open space behind me with that sun behind the camera lens back lit there. And it's going to be flawless, I know that. But then I'm going to go into Sutton Hall, which is just over there, so we're going to go inside later on. So in this video today I'll be filming the back of the Action 6 and then you'll be able to see that green box locked around me on subject tracking. And then within the frame you'll see a grey box, now that's where it's keeping me centre frame. But it's a funny one that, because when you view it through the Action 6, which I'll fluctuate between the back of the screen and the front of the screen throughout the video, you're, gonna, you're not going to see that green box around me, or that grey box, and you'll see it doesn't keep me centre frame the whole time. And then I'll be going inside Sutton Hall just over there, which you're going to see in a minute, because there's lots of walls there, so I'll be able to walk between the walls, disappear, reappear, get off frame, get back in frame, and really see if that subject tracking, that new improved subject tracking on the Action 6, it's going to follow me the entire time. And now I'm going to show you how to find the subject tracking on the Action 6 and show you the menus there. So at the bottom left there on the Action 6, just hit that icon and then you'll scroll across to where you'll see subject tracking. And then you'll just swipe up from the bottom and then as you'll see we're quite limited there on the resolutions. We can only have 1080 and 2.7K, although we can have two aspect ratios the portrait 9 by 16 or the landscape 16.9 and then the frame rates are the same on the 1080 and 2.7K, we can just get 24 frames right through to 60. And then at the top right there, that's where you'll switch your field of views, but once again we're very limited there, as we've only got standard D-warp, which is that focal length equivalent of 23mm. So in today's subject tracking video, it's going to be a resolution of 2.7K, 16.9 aspect ratio, 30 frames per second, and obviously standard D-warp, because we've got no other options there. Let's start filming, here we go. Right, so now I've got the DJI Wireless Mic 2 hooked up to the Action 6. Now the reason I've done that today, even if there was no wind, but it is a strong breeze today, because the Action 6 onboard microphone, it's really, really sensitive. It's, it's really good, it's really usable, just like the Action 5 Pro and 4, but it's a lot more sensitive to wind than the 4 and the 5 Pro. So I'd recommend when you're doing any kind of vlogging with the 6, always take an external microphone there. Otherwise you'll do what I did, you get back and it'll just be... And a lot of your stuff will be unfortunately unusable. And that's just happened to me. Well done. Right. <laughs> so let's let's do some basic tests to start with. We're just walking left to right of the screen here. And I'll keep in frame as it's got me. So for those people who let's just say has got a gardening program and you want to be walking up and down. This is the video for you. And anybody else who's got a say, let's just say a shopping channel indoors and they're moving up and around, again this video's for you. So you can be on your own, you don't have to have someone else filming you. That's what's happening in today's tech. Everything's going solo and going smaller. So did it keep me in frame going up and there, down there? I can see that green box and you should be able to see the back of the Action 6 with that green box around me. And just keep an eye out because I'm going to be filming the back of the screen like I said so you can see exactly what I'm seeing and you'll see a grey box around me there and within that grey box, the green box and that's that subject tracking working and now it's saying it keeps you centre frame. Now it keeps you centre frame within the grey box as you can see on the back of the screen there but when I'm moving left to right, you can see it moving but when I get right over here I'm not centre frame am I? But I'm centre frame to the grey box so that's quite confusing there. And now I'm going to disappear completely off a frame. And now you'll see a little red box where I disappeared. And now I've got 90 seconds. No pressure. I'm obviously going to get back within 90 seconds. 
and now that should have picked me straight back up. I'll do the same at the other side. And now I'll reappear the same side. And now let's try and trick that camera system a bit more. So now I'll disappear and I'll walk around. And now I'm at the back of the camera. So I'm just doing full circle now. And then reappear. So I should have had the red box over there. And then it tracked me and picked me up over there. So I'm just testing it there just in case it's got that same software inside and it's trying to predict where I'm coming. So I'm going to keep messing with the camera system here to really try and trick it. And I'll reappear really closely. See how rapid that green box picks you up once again. That's what I was saying with how flawless this subject tracking is. I've tested plenty on drones and many other cameras but up to now this subject tracking on the DJI products is flawless. So I'm really going to try and trick that subject tracking. I'll do a few running tests now up and down and after that we'll get inside and really try and trick it within the lighting conditions. So now I'm just going to run past. You should have seen, hopefully, a green box. I'm moving too fast to see that. So I'm hoping it's working. Now I'll just do a few laps around. Did it pick me up there? And then did it lock back on me as I appeared and reappeared? Right, so now I'm within the ruins. Before I start running around inside here, I just thought I'd um, just see how it handles me going into my car, sitting in there a few seconds, then let it lose me, and then walk back to the camera. Don't know why, I just like to keep testing things like this. Here we go. Let's really test it out now. So hopefully you should see the green box around me. And I really still hope you've got the green box around me because I really can't see at all if it's still got me now. Should have took my bag off earlier, shouldn't I? All right. So I'm in a green box right now. And when I get in here, it should go red if it hasn't already. And now can you still hear me? Because that'd be quite impressive, wouldn't it? I've locked myself in this car, I'm at least 20 metres away. Or am I just talking to myself in the car? So now I'm completely hidden from view. And now I'll get out. And I really hope that's worked, to be honest. So if that's worked the entire time, I'm going to be really, really impressed with that. Because so I've not only disappeared almost from frame there, I have literally disappeared within the frame. I should have, I know now it's picked me back up without even looking because I'm within the 90 seconds there. So that's going to be interesting when I get back in post to find out if that kept me track the entire time. Fingers crossed it did. And you've actually in real time seen this before I have. Now let's disappear and reappear within these walls to really test it further. Here we go. Right, so now I've come to a different part of the ruins and just behind me, this used to be the kitchens. These were three large fireplaces, as you can still see there. So let's try and confuse that camera system. First of all, I'm just going to go behind it, walk up and down, run up and down. And I'll just think of something else to try and catch it out. <laughs> Here we go. I'm trying not to bang my head. So now I've disappeared from frame. Now I'm just going to walk past each fireplace. Is it keeping that green box there or is it showing a red box each time I disappear? And now some people's here, but I'm going to carry on. <laughs> Probably think I'm talking to my son. So as I appear, so, I di so as I disappeared off frame and reappeared, did it pick me back up there? Pick the pace up. So hopefully it's going to keep me, and it's disappear over here. And then reappear. What else should we do? Let's try and catch it out, come on. I'm not invisible, <laughs> I'm just behind the camera. I'm just gonna walk around the hall, 
So I'm not even going to appear into the shot until the door straight centre frame what you can see through the Action 6 right now. I'm going to appear there. I'm going to make my way right round to that doorway. <laughs> that grabbed me and I've got a green box around me. This is a first for me. I've never tested it like this. I've always appeared in front of the frame first. And that's remarkable. I've got the green box around me. Right, so while I've got the camera set up just there, I'll just walk between these two large walls. Obviously going to disappear, reappear. Let's just see how it handles that. I have faith in this one because it's not too far away. But I'm really interested, like I said, if it's worked the whole time when we went to the car there. That would be great if it's worked. So now you should see the red square. And the red square should still be there. And then immediately the green square should appear around me. And once again we'll go this side. We'll reappear again. Yeah. So like I said earlier, I'm doing this for people who let's just say has got that gardening channel. It could be a large garden there, you've got big thick trees, you're walking, you're talking, going behind them, reappearing. Like I said, this is the video for you because you're really going to see there. I mean you can't get much denser than an object like that disappearing around. So if you've got a large tree as thick as this and you walk past it in your garden whilst you're vlogging there, I can 100% guarantee it's going to pick you back up every single time with this subject tracking. Right, I'm done running around in front of camera now. <laughs> Just as I was finishing up, a load of people came and it, it's quite funny actually. As I said in other videos, they look at you like you've got three heads. I know, I'm, I know it deserves to be looked at because from afar they're not going to know the camera's there and I'm running around between walls and poking around. Probably it does look quite funny, doesn't it? And now that you've really seen it there, what's your thoughts on it and what would you use it for? Now, like I said at the beginning, if you've got a gardening channel especially, and I say that because people's contacted me when I did the other one on the Action 5 Pro, and they're really pleased how flawless it were. They purchased it and they've got back to me and they're saying how flawless that subject tracking is as well. So I'm really hoping with this testing today on the new improved subject tracking on the Action 6, that it worked every single time there. So as you're listening to this right now, I've not even hit playback or edited it. Obviously you're seeing the edited version here and then I will have seen it. But as I'm speaking to you right now, I've not seen it at all, if it works there. But what I can tell you is, if it did lose me that subject tracking and it didn't pick me back up, I will leave it in because on this channel, I do test everything thoroughly and I'm very honest. And what I want to show you is no false marketing there. I don't want to show you a guy on a snowboard and it's picking him up every time like you see on these adverts because that's straight away you're thinking wow that's amazing but does it really work well that's what this video is about today we've really tested it and like i said if it hasn't worked in any part of that even in the car which i keep saying i'm really excited to see that every part's going to stay in because i want you to see it working properly in a real world test so as always do stay tuned to the channel as there's going to be plenty more videos on the horizon especially with testing out this newly released action six and I've got loads of accessories coming for it, so do stay tuned because I'll be unboxing them and really showing you how to use them all there. But for now, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and bye for now.